Hello, so we're going to hold a sentence with me today. So we're going to be looking at this grapheme here. This one, when we see it, the E and the A together, it's a digraph. When we hear it, it makes the E phoneme. My turn, your turn, E, E. So we say cup of tea, E, cup of tea, E. Excellent, well done. Okay, so I'm going to read some words for you. I'm going to Fred talk them. You are also going to Fred talk them back to me, but you are going to blend them like we do normally, okay? So my turn, your turn. T, E. Excellent, well done. T, E, T. S, E. Excellent. S, E, C. Like when we go to the seaside and we can see the beautiful blue sparkling sea. Okay, next one. S eat. Excellent, well done. S eat seat. Take a seat at the table. Next one. B eat. Well done. So can you b eat beat? Can you beat me in the race? And the last one, a bit longer this time. Er, eat. Excellent, well done. T er, eat, treat. On Fridays, we have a treat. Excellent. Okay, so this time I'm going to Fred talk them for you. We're going to segment for spelling this time. So we're going to use our Fred fingers, okay? And I'll tell you how many Fred fingers that we need, and then you are going to have a go at writing those sounds. So remember this one, I'm just going to circle it with my pen. This one is going to be the grapheme that you're going to be using when you write these words today, okay? So this time you need two Fred fingers, okay? And we're going to do T, E, T. Can you please write that word for me, please? Excellent, well done. Next time we need two Fred Fingers again. C, -E C. Could you please write C for me, please? You can pause the video each time, don't forget. Sorry, I realized I was going a little bit fast then. Okay, next time we're going to do three Fred Fingers, please. Three Fred Fingers. Okay, we ready? Eat seat. Could you please write the word seat? Pause the video. Excellent, well done. Okay, next one we need three fresh fingers again. And we're going to do B, eat, beat. B, eat, beat. So like beat the drum. Excellent, well done. Okay, last one. We need four Fred fingers, so it's a longer one today. Okay, are we ready? So we're going to start with t -er eat treat. T -er eat treat. Pause the video and write treat. Excellent, well done. So I'm going to reveal the words for you and I'm going to dot and dash them. T, E, and you can check and fix them. S, E, S, E, T, B, E, T, B, E, T, T, E, E, T, Treat. So you can pause the video, check and fix them. If you need to change them, that's absolutely fine. Check, did you manage to put the E graphing the E digraph in each word, like we were talking about. Excellent, well done. Now, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to move on to our holder sentence. So I've got three for you today. The first one's super easy, okay? It's my favorite thing to have in the morning when I get up. So my first one is, and I bet some of the mummies and daddies will agree, cup of tea. Cup of tea. Cup of tea. Pause video, please. Say it and repeat that sentence as many times as you need to, and then have a go at writing it, please. Don't forget your capital letter at the beginning, your finger spaces, and your full stop at the end. 
Excellent. Okay, I'm going to reveal the letter. Are you ready? The word, sorry, the sentence. Cup of tea. So, cup, k, a, p, cup. Did you remember your capital letter? Well done. If you did, if you did, then tell me. I'll give you an extra dojo point. Cup of. This is a tricky word because we think it would be of, but the it's actually a f. Okay, cup of. Last one, t, t, e, with our full stop at the end. Stop, pause the video if you need to, check and fix, and then we'll move on to the next sentence. Okay. Right. This one is also quite a short one. Swim in the sea. Swim in the sea. Swim in the sea. Your turn. Excellent. One more time and then I want you to pause the video and keep repeating it. Swim in the sea. Pause the video, repeat it until you feel ready and then write that sentence for me please. Okay, well done. I'm going to reveal our sentence. Had four, four words in this sentence. Swim in the sea. Excellent. Well done. Okay, so I hope you remembered your capital letter. Let's look at the word swim. S-b-i-m. Swim. S-w-i-m. Swim. Lots of sounds to blend together and segment in that one. Swim. In, in, swim in the, there's our red word there, it comes up a lot, we should know that by now, swim in the e, sea, with our full stop at the end. So you can pause the video, look at it written out, check and fix yours, take your time, and then we'll go on to the final sentence. Most importantly today, I want to see that you've remembered how to use this one in your writing, okay? Okay, last one. Now, this one is a trickier one. We're using a different form of punctuation here. We're going to be using a question mark. Now I'm going to show you what question mark looks like and I'll leave it here to help you. Okay, it also has a tricky red word in it and I'm going to give you this tricky red word. The tricky red word is have. Okay, the tricky red word is have. So, can I have a treat? That's what my little girl always says to me on a Friday. Can I have a treat? Your turn. Can I have a treat? Can I have a treat? Okay, where do you think the question mark goes? Can I have a treat? Excellent, it replaces the full stop. It goes at the end of the question and it replaces the full stop. So I would like you to, I'm going to say it one more time, I'd like you to repeat it as many times you need. Pause the video, repeat it, and then have a go at writing the question, okay? So it's not a statement, it's not a command, it's a question. Can I have a treat? Pause the video, off you go. Excellent, well done. So I hope you use this question mark and I hope you use this red word, okay? So let's reveal the sentence. Oh dear, I've written, written we, but, but I meant I. That's absolutely fine if you've written I. So, can, can, can I have, we know that word because I shared it with you before we wrote the sentence or the question. Can I have a t treat? Er, eat with our question mark at the end. Take your time, pause the video, check and fix it, okay? Well done. See you next time.